okay. I'm not worried about overspray because I'm going to be going in and doing some stuff in that area anyway. And I'm just trying to get the outline of the claw in. Okay, we'll use some shield work because there's some sharp lines. So I'm just going to come in here. Give us that sharp line first and then I'll air dry it. Behind is dark. Kind of missed over the line. Just push up like that. If it's uh, push out, push push start in your safe area which is your black and then literally just push out I don't like that that in there that's too deep too let's get rid of that <coughs> so I just want an offering of a shadow same on this Go around the outside of that one. You should get that shape. Then we'll come around. Oh, come around there. There we go. Uh, there's a bit of a shadow up here. Just. Again, pushing out just to get a kind of sense of movement to the fur. There's a little bit there. And there's, that's the kind of like the ridge. Um, we've got a black stripe coming in here. And all this just basically wants to kind of look like it's coming over so I'm just arcing it push out push out push out push out Paint's running out by the looks of it. Yeah. Just getting the shape of everything, that's all I'm doing. Okay, and the same way on this one. Actually, I've got a bit of a shadow there, so I'm just going to bring in this shadow. Just so I know where my shadows are. You see, just by adding that little bit of shadow there, has just put this on top, the highlight hitting on the top of the claw, and then the shadow at the bottom. Okay, 
Okay, we'll do the same on this one. We'll just get that in. Push up. There is some sharp fur in there, as in hairs. So, but we're gonna come back and do those. Just getting a guide of where everything is. Okay, that kind of gives us enough to work with. Do it freehand. So I'm just going to go in very gently. And put our circle in. And then what we're going to do is just drop shadow it. Go put my finger there. that. And just drop shadow the top of uh, and then go over a very thin line over the top. Okay, and then might even use a little exacto knife for that one. Just put a little highlight across. Okay, need to do a bit of a shadow over the bridge of the nose. So just follow the contour of your map. Just to get that in. Um, and then there's another one there, but it's more on the inside. So we'll bring that one actually in. Set. These kind of meet up. So we're going to start fine tuning stuff now and just start getting it all working. The line underneath the eye needs to meet up. Okay, 
can put a few little darker ones in this area. I don't like these, uh, how harsh these um, grey lines are, but Doing a bit more shading down the bottom. Very light shading. Okay. Right. So the next process. Once you've got kind of the shape of your tiger and how you want your tiger to flow, now we've got to fine tune it. Okay. So we want to bring some kind of realistic element to it. So. All I'm going to do is pick on an area. Let's let's use this ear as an area, okay? And I'm just going to mist very lightly where it's white. Just like that. Okay? Just bring in a mist, a very soft mist. Let that dry. Okay. I'm just going to put a little bit in there that I've just missed. Just a little bit of dark area there, just it's annoying me. It's missed. There we go. Okay, so now we come in with our glass fibre pen. Okay, and we take out the hairs that we want. So if you remember me doing, if you've watched it, the um, mural of the tiger, you can see how we use the glass fiber. So you can use the edge of the glass fiber just to push. And what I'm actually doing is, I'm creating the fur this way but I'm also eating into this black area here. Now, however furry you want your tiger to look, is how much you use this glass fiber and where you use the glass fiber. Okay, so in the ear, let's get that white bit in the ear. So look, push a little bit into the black and also up that way. Slow that off, and you can see how we can start to create the fur look. So, if we start from the eye, okay, I'm leaving the shade here, I'm just going to start pushing, but I'm leaving gaps in between, and I'll eat into that black area above. Okay, look, look at the difference that's just made. Just by pushing and pulling into the black area. So this gap here in between is very bright, but we can still push into the fur beneath it. Right? And then push towards the way the fur is flowing and you can see we're starting to create that fur look um, what you've got to think of when you're looking at this I mean you'll be looking at mine but um, look at how short the fur is on the top of the head and then as I go out it gets like longer and longer and longer so you've got to get your your movements of the glass fiber small at the top of the forehead okay and do little ones but as you go out okay 
okay, you get longer and longer. Okay, so we're going to eat into this one this way. And we're going to come down. Look at your sense of direction of where your um, your fur is going. So it's like a clock, really. As it goes round the clock, you turn the angle of the fur to face the, almost like it's you know the hands of a clock. So you've got to go that way, then that way, then down, and then that way, and then out that way. So. As I'm moving around the face, I'm turning the angle of the fur. So like this is almost sideways on. So we can eat into that one and we can push into this one. If you've got enough of a shade in between your blacks, it will show up as like hair. I mean, this glass fiber is probably a little bit flat for it but I'm still getting the desired look. I'm not after hyper-realism in this piece because we're gonna manipulate it a bit afterwards. Some of it, yeah, see, some of it looks a bit clunky at the moment, but bearing in mind that we're gonna come back in with shades as well. So look, if I'm doing it on a larger scale, I'm just pushing in little bit by little bit. I'll start pushing out look how furry that looks now compared to how this side looks yeah so however um, however you want your fur to look if you want your tiger to look really furry you just do more of this kind of work You want to clump a few together and remember this is when you're doing wildlife it's layers okay it's all about the layers and when you get to the nose area they get like almost like dots so I'm just going to do this area here and then we'll move on to the shorter hairs up the top here So you can be a bit random with it as well because hair's not uniformed, right? Um, just bear in mind we're going to be going back in. I'm just going to put a shade in this area because I just want to so look, I can just touch a bit of shade in there and that's enough for me to eat into with my glass fiber pen. And also now look, we've got all this crisscross going on in there. It looks kind of nasty really. So what we can do is just come in and just push up a couple of areas. Watch the difference this makes. And after do them all. And then push out. Wow, how does that look? Great. Right, and then we do the same on this one. We just hit it again, push out on a couple. There, look, over there, up there. And if you've got to go back in again, you go back in again. Like here wants to be really dark in the middle, right? And then it softens as it goes out. And then we can bring in a couple more um, highlights. Where was I doing? I was doing up here. So this is smaller hair, so we'll just touch it. Just little ones. And we'll eat into this black on this side. Let's get the fur in there first, and then we'll come back in and reiterate the blacks. Redo all the blacks. Now think of your sense of direction okay and the way that the face flows
All we're trying to do is get that fur look in. Really small around the eye. You can tidy up your eye as you're going in as well. Let's get some little ones in there. Now already look at the different sides of the face, it's completely different. There are some areas that you can't even see the fur. So when I'm doing hyper realistic animals, um, like tigers or lions or anything like that, sometimes you can't even see the fur, like, you know, like the white on the tiger is so bright that you, you can't even see the fur. It's, it's just too bright it's like white so you have to get it right as per the photo this is the bit that takes the time really not blocking in yeah, this the glass fiber in this is pretty shot to be honest but it's good enough for us, what we need. I'm just going to do a bit of random stuff in the ear. I'm just going all different angles in that ear. Took seconds, didn't it? All right, and then we just come in and we just darken the area that we want to darken. now it looks like we've got a bit of a fluffy ear. <clears throat> Took seconds. Right, well, so we'll continue on with this hair. Uh, let's do some bigger ones down here. We'll just flow this out. Didn't realise it was this easy, did you guys? Come on. Hey, giving away all the tricks. Look at that. Instant hair. Notice I'm going longer as I'm going out. Right? Clump a few together. just thought about it actually and I'm thinking what I'm gonna do is um, just treat this as a black and white one okay uh, I've got another idea where we're gonna use this tiger and that'll be in the next video So we'll do this one as black and white and then we'll, I'm just shading this by the way, just there and there. Um, we'll do this one as black and white and then when I come to do the colour one, uh, we'll do something special with it. Just for you guys. So even in here, look, where it's really small hairs. All right, if you remember the Reaper, we just done those little um, drops of string on the Reaper, okay? Just by using the glass fiber pen, this is the same principle. We're just bringing in that hair look in between the dots and we push into this bit I 
think you're going to love doing this one. Now, when we get up onto the nose, we just want to dot. Dot, 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 dot. We don't want to go mad. Just going to push a little bit of a shadow up here. Just down there and over that bit there. And just give this bit a mist up there, got my finger in the way there, just that bit there, okay let that dry for a second, oh I want to go in with a bit of a shadow creeping out of here now and just push it over, just in that area and then we'll merge these two together like that <coughs> Remember to go over your black lines that you've done, okay, where you've pushed in. Just go in the center. Look at the difference it makes to that fur, right? So once you've done your fur, your raising, just come in and push in. Okay. To those stripes again. Just knocking some of it back, but you do want those real dark blacks right in the center leave the edges so I'm just pushing into that look at that insane how good it looks make sure you're really black around the eye okay let's get back in there um, don't like the look of that bit there. Just gonna pull that one in. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I've got to do those black again. Um, just gonna push out from this way now, really little ones, just upwards. Poke, 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 but make sure your um your doing it not all in a row. Okay, you don't want uniformity. Um, it takes away from the realism. So you want to kind of mix it up, like just mix it up a little. And then as we get on to I'll dot that area a little bit more, really. As we get onto the bridge of the nose, we just want to dot it. So we want some texture in there, but we just want to dot it. We don't want like fur looking. just more of a highlight in that area okay uh, let's darken up this little bit here just shade it ever so slightly and then we can put some a raising in it just to make it look like it's more furry and we'll just leave the darkness as we get closer to the bottom we still got to do all the teeth and stuff like that and I want to bring in a bit of background work
keep the end of that tooth really um, make those teeth really stand out I can always come in and darken things up if I need to darken it up but we're looking pretty good uh, these are longer hairs at the top here so we'll come in and just sort of wipe these out get in between there So even though these are all kind of straight going backwards, I'm still picking like one long one, one short one, one long one, one short one. Just uh, so it's not uniformed. Turn a couple of them like that. Still got all the shading to do and Okay, let's start bringing in the, uh, the bottom chin bit. Look how quick this is. How quick was that guys? Now just push out into it. Just gonna come in underneath that area there. Just darken that. And then we'll go off into that like that. Get that darkness back in there. Uh, black areas back in that we've done
takes a little while to do it but I don't think this is going to be kind of more than uh, five hours to complete but I know for you guys it will be maybe a little bit longer but Raising. It's a bit chunky there. done the shadow over the eye just want that a little bit darker Okay, so now I'm going to start coming out towards, um, actually I still use this one, the glass fibre under here, I want to clump some together. Exposed a little bit more of the uh, the glass fiber because I want this kind of soft. Want that looking more like it's clumped. So come in. Darken up and then just push as if that's underneath, it's almost layered, and then push from this angle. Might go out a little bit wider on this bit here. At the bottom here, just push it out. Remember, I'm kind of making up this area here because I want to do something slightly different to the image. So, I'm just going to push that out a bit. Come in here and just mix it up for the lower area. I'm just going to use 
the bigger rubber. Just cleaning up the end. So, and all I'm going to do is just push like that. Because I don't want this in focus. I want to make it kind of look like it's out of focus compared to the chin. So I can come in here, look, and I can do indications of hair, okay, but I'm not wiping it out like I would with a glass fiber. I'm just showing indication of the way the hair is flowing. Got a bit of grey come through there but on the same under here just push and just give yeah look the map is coming through ever so slightly but I know I'm going to be shading again so and all I'm going to do is just use little daggers one to hide our little um, marks that we got and just to put a little bit more detail in between the erasing it is a darker area so we can lose all those poor and I'll do the same here let's put my finger there Just shield it. Okay, and then I'm just going to put a light mist in the legs. Right, so on this side of things, we can just come in and just use the tip and just push. We could use the Tombow. Look, just an indication of fur we don't need the detail that we've got in there I could go to town and put, you know, silly amount of detail in these claws. Um, but just want to get the techniques across to you first and then when maybe when we come to do the one that we're going to do in color uh, we we go to town on a bit more of the detail
don't need to go too mad. We could put some lines and stuff in this. Um, let's get the dirty marks gone. Just so it doesn't look messy. See, we can do still do blurred lines because we blurred the uh, we blurred the background. Okay. I'm going to shade that a little bit there. Just going to add some extra little bits in here. Okay, and we just do the same on this side. Just bring in, oops, off one first. Just bring in an indication of uh, no focus. It was just an offering and then we can shade it afterwards. We're going to be doing some stuff on the outside anyway. Let's get some shading going on in there. I'm putting no focus on it just by using the rubber and just if you want to put more focus on yours absolutely crack on guys you could you know you could have this in focus if you wanted it in focus like the tiger's face and just you know, just carry on doing the glass fibre um, and play about with it. I just want mine out of focus, that's all. Don't like that bit there, but let's give that a bit of shade there. It's coming out. Okay. Okay, so all I'm gonna do is like we do with our true fire, I'm gonna um, do some kind of flames going up. Well guys, that's the tiger done. Um, I cut it short obviously before I put all my, uh, just a little bit of flames that I put around the outside. Um, you can have a go at the flames if you want. Um, it's on the image, on the reference photo, if you want to have a go at it. Um, or you can put your own background in. It's up to you, really. Um, we are going to be doing another version of this, but a full color version with true fire. So um, that's going to be a bit special. So look out for that video, and I'll see you again soon, guys. Take care.